This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Oh! A little vocal warm up, you know. Nice. Yeah. I forget what that song is, but I appreciate it. That's a uh, Tarzan that Boy by Baltimore. Uh, you know, for those who are something is going very wrong. Oh, how are your controls? <laughs> uh, <hi. laughs> a bit of a problem on the world map there, but. I love the uncontrollable forehead spray. <laughs> it's been too long. Oh, uh, hey. Happy New hey. Year, everybody. Hey, we're back. We're finally back. How you, was that? You thought we were yeah. dead, and frankly, so did we. But here we are. Yeah. We can't really tell the difference. Between between being alive and dead? <laughs> it's all kind of a gray I mean, none waking of us nightmare. Yeah. None of us have experienced it. So, I mean, I guess I can't tell the difference. You don't know me. It's a valid point. It's possible we don't, you don't it's, know it's, me. It's possible we don't recall being dead. Maybe it's we've not. all died many times. Hey, you never know. It depends a, on whether Matt's right about quantum immortality. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. Holy shit, everybody! I hope your uh, 2023 has been as uh, as uh, okayish as mine has been. That's a ringing endorsement of the year so far. Hey, look, I'll take okay, man. Boy, will I ever take okay. Yeah, Wait. I think my 2023 has been pretty good. My yeah. uh, Christmas break was was all kinds of fucked. Anyone who knows me knows that I hate Christmas and. God, Christmas dogged my footsteps for every second of that time I was supposed to be resting, and I'm still not I'm still not quite right about it. Just uh just the sound of like sleigh bells runs shivers down your spine. Oh yeah, I was, you know, <laughs> visited by all the Yuletide demons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that time is over. I wish I could tell you that Santa was chief among the Yuletide demons, but even he has dark winter masters that he has to serve. <laughs> oh, pity reminds me of an ice cream cone. Oh, pie. You want to mess my pie pie pretty soon. The milk is just do and I'm out of more. It's interesting that she's devolved from underwater German to underwater Andy Circus's golem. <laughs> <laughs> I took a little from Ferrari to pay this price. Somehow he wants his money back. I can't pay him, so I'll take the in instead. If I had more time or more money, I know who could paint good. I'd fix this place up and show Fritz face a thing or two. I'll give his in some real inspiration. You say Ferrari knows you. He dropped your name when you came by. Perhaps if you talk to him, you could get extended deadline. Would you do me this teensy little favor? I'd be very thankful, and I'm sure the cooks would be very grateful. You saved their job for them. They'll fix your favorite food. Never huh, again. and we've gone into Werewolf Yoda. That's quite good. <laughs> yeah, but, but much more uh, understandable than before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying some stuff out, you know? Yeah, no, that was good. Yeah. Or not not so much like Werewolf. It's either Werewolf Yoda or uh, Reversed Heavy Metal Track. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dough, money, cash on demand. Track mother? Nah, not me. It's no joke. I'm flat He's the guy that painted the flying ice cream cone. Anyone who could paint that surely could paint my inn. I'll have to talk to him about it. I like the idea that No Man is a much larger, much more frightening entity trapped in the body of a whimsical gnome. 
<laughs> I'm singing the blues, boys, for I'm going to lose. And I've sunk all my savings, and lo and behold, the end will be repossessed, and I'll be depressed. That louse gets the house, and I get ousted. This gnome's on her own with no home. She's sort of a like a an anthropomorphic keyhole through which the infinite darkness is peering. <laughs> this, one's, this one's hard on the throat. I don't think I should do that. I know. I know all gnomes are written to be like good with rhyming and uh, also puns. Although I, I refuse to say anything is good about puns. Um, <clears throat> but like she could go toe to toe with fucking Eminem with these uh, with some of these rhymes. She should just go on the rap battle circuit. She should. She'd do fine. Yeah. Ferrari wouldn't take this shark park jerk. The end's out without a doubt. Old Frizzhead will probably turn to it into another saloon. I can imagine somebody rapping with that voice, too. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> we can only we can only imagine. Pretty birds with strawberries. Will you take the charge of the Ferrari about my Lone Ranger? I'd be happy to refund every penny in rent you've paid so far. Sort of uh, like the devil went down to Georgia, except with a rap battle instead of fiddles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. God, that helmet looks stupid. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, I, I love that the rest of our outfit, we're just wearing a shirt. Like, when we put on our armor, it disguised as our shirt. But because we weren't already wearing a hat, the magic helmet just looks like a stupid centurion's helmet. <clears throat> well, when in Rome. <laughs> no, no. We've seen the Romans. We're close to Rome. We're near Rome. They've got the fucked up crawl helmets. Oh, yeah, right. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, you can't visit there during the day. What are you, mad? I must be. Kill that guy. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Just chase him down and murder him. Oh my gosh. So you know what? We got a bunch of uh, we got a we got a we got a couple questions for Glory. We got a we even have, have a question we? for cl- for Crawl. Everybody. All right. Oh, I'm I know. Stoked. You know what that means? Oh, I do. Hit it. Yeah. Good to be back. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. In 2023. So here's these, these. We got some questions for Gloria. And really, honestly, honestly, I should have thought about them even a little bit mm, before yeah. before asking. But because we are such a, a practiced and experienced Gloria Titians, we don't need the time. You know? No, we'll, we'll just rapid fire. Let's go. Yeah, we'll do it fire. live. <clears throat> We're gonna end with the with with uh, the the question for crawl. All right, because we we have one. And it's- now the last time we did that, that question never got answered, and none of us can remember what it is. It was literally lost to time. I will never lose this one. Okay. Ever. Okay. Ever. Because well, we're okay. about to answer it. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Idris asks question for glory. If you were to create a new Sarah, Sierra adventure series for a new generation, but could only create characters that are voiced by Matt, and Matt can only use impressions from obscure comedians who died in the 20th century, what would the series be about, and which characters would Matt choose? This is one of those times that I actually wish, and I know it's going to sound weird, but I actually wish Lou was here. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. But yeah, because Lou could really help me out with this one. This um, is one of those moments, those those rare, rare moments where Lou really shines. Yeah, yeah, he could really, could really he, help me out. But he's not. He's not here. He fell asleep. He fell asleep, y'all. I just wanna, said he was gonna try. We did a, try. we did a sort of. A, I would say it was it was at our like weekly D and D game, but it was sort of a modern setting we were playing, modern role playing setting. And uh, Matt did as an evil robot a very threatening Owen Wilson, like if Owen Wilson were scary. It's really hard to I descri- remember that. It's it it's hard that to was describe. A long time but ago, but I remember it. Yeah. It, it was truly awful. 
Like, it was a really awful <laughs> moment. Because uh, he was wow. mostly, like, really wow. amiable. Yeah. And then he would say something so dark and threatening in, like, the same cadence. Be a shame if I were to remove your arms. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I think... That'd be so he, crazy. He, Nobody he, would expect that. Nobody would even... Nobody could even predict that I would be able to do something like that. Wow. All right, I'm going to answer that question, and then we're going to sit quietly for the rest of the drive. Uh, yeah, uh, Evil Owen Wilson would get my vote for, for one of the roles, for sure. Um, I, You know, like I know, I mean, we're going to have to get some uh, Ed Wynn in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, like... The the levels are NPC classics, so like your Edwin, your uh, Christopher Walken. Um, I'm not dead. Probably. <laughs> I I'd, I'd enjoy uh, I'd enjoy Edwin either as uh, a shopkeep. Uh, Edwin has uh, you know lent his voice via Matt to many shopkeeps, but I, I'd also could see him as a sort of a Sierra classic that is the. Somehow both omnipotent yet completely ineffectual wizard ally. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, okay, so, but this is all based on a new Sierra property. So what would the genre be? Well, if you yeah. wanted to use Evil Owen Wilson as an evil robot, it would have to be sort of a sci-fi thing. But, I mean, he could just be a different sort of evil thing. Or, like, a magical when construct I... rather than a robot. When I was younger... Uh, significantly younger. I wanted to make a uh, sort of James Bond, but you know, funny style of um, sort of spy drama adventure game. I think that'd be great. They, they didn't have one really in this era, <laughs> Uvra. So it's like you know, you kind of got most of the other common ground already covered. Yeah, you, know, you got Space Quest, which is your sort of like Star Trek, Star Wars stuff. You got um, King's Quest for the sort of fairy tale um, stuff, Quest for Glory for uh, a little bit more sort of grounded fantasy. And really, the only um, like spy stuff they had was for, like, the boring you know, spy Rashi shit. Dalton. Yeah, like and they even had like you know, more Ice for mysteries and shit. Fucking yeah, Codename. exactly. That, yeah, that, police procedurals in Police Quest. That, that would be quite good because you could do Edwin as your like your Q, you know, the guy who provides yeah. you your, your gear that often explodes or malfunctions. And well, uh, you, you could have evil Owen Wilson either be an evil robot henchman, because, you know, that's not outside the realm of a James Bond type spy adventure, or as just like some sort of, you know, assassin or something. Well, you know, honestly, yeah. like, I've always wanted to make a, an adventure game. And like always, I mean, like in the last like 10 years, I've kind of wanted to make a, <laughs> an adventure game that we're, was always like, it's kind of like a love letter to all of the genres. Where you start off as like this uh, this character. I'm not going to get into the details of the story, but really, what you do is you end up traveling from like genre to genre. So you end up like going into like a medieval place, and then a sci-fi place, and then like you know an old west place. And, you, and, and each one has different puzzles and stuff to solve and and uh, stuff to get. And you just sort of take them back and forth. It's like a reality uh, thing, which I think is. It opens up so you can have like an Edwin wizard and a and a Owen Wilson robot in the same game. Yeah, that could be cool. I think uh, if was... I were to choose a setting for a game, I'd probably do like a um, kind of a near future, low sci fi kind of thing. I, I often reference Cowboy Bebop as like a, a game where I'd really love to like play around and experience the lives of being a starving bounty hunter. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be a good one for uh, you know um, an evil Owen Wilson to play a uh, oh like the uh, who's the who's the assassin droid from uh, uh, Mandalorian T oh, something yeah. well, I, I think IG eighty eight IG eighty eight yeah that's the guy IG eleven yeah. one of the IG units yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Have have one of those guys be Evil Owen Wilson, though obviously a legally distinct from an IG unit sort of assassin droid. But that sort of thing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like the guy from uh, from uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, who we never actually uh, picked up when we in HK forty seven. Yeah, yeah. We 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 should get back to that playthrough at one point. Um, but uh, yeah, also 
Um, I don't I don't remember if we ever mentioned this, but there was a short period of time where we were working on a um, point and click adventure game together, uh, based off of the nineteen eighty sixteen. Um, oh yeah, series of of uh, adventures that we had on uh, our tabletop. Um, that could have been a lot of fun. It's We'd, not not to say that this isn't something that we could pick too up. Not late. Again it is. Uh, it is certainly a setting that would easily accommodate both robots and wizards as well. Yeah, and it's, absolutely. It's never too late. Never too late. Never too late. Um, okay. Uh, fun for Algernon says. Uh, question for Glory. Uh, any thoughts on the new game from Ken and Roberta Williams or Ken's book? Um, that's Colossal Cave, uh, which I believe came out today as of our recording. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah. Congratulations to Ken and Roberta on the release of Colossal Cave. Um, yeah. Assuming that it did come out. If it didn't come out today while we were recording, it has come out between recording and the airing of this episode. So congratulations on the release. I hope that it went well. I hope that it's selling well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it, honestly. Like, I'm just happy to see more people in the adventure game space. And I mean, like, classics, like like the Williams is, um, is are fantastic. Like... Space Venture is has either recently come out or is coming out soon. Hero U, there's the new Summer Days is coming out pretty soon. Um, yeah, there's a whole lot going on right now, and it and it's fantastic. Like we we had the younger generation, you know, like Dave Gilbert, Francis Gonzalez, and, and those guys, sort of keep, hold, you know holding the torch for them, and we've finally sort of seen a resurgence of the old Sierra Grades, and it's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm really happy about that. Colossal Cave isn't what I would have expected to see out of them, but I get it, right? Like, you know, the yeah. original adventure game. Yeah. Um, yeah. Agreed. Free to license, public domain, right? So they can uh, just make their own version of it. So No, I agree. I think it's great. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I will be picking it up. Maybe we'll play it on the show. Hey, you never know. That would be something. Right? It'd be yeah. interesting. I know we still have a lot of Sierra titles to go through, but it would be interesting to sort of take a minute and go through like a a recent game by some of the yeah. Like, a, was it Space Venture that's done by two guys from Andromeda? That's right. Yeah, yeah. I followed that for a while. That's a hell of a reunion. Um, so yeah. I'm very curious to see how that goes. Very yeah, very storied um, development history. Um, they had a lot of road roadblocks, a lot of speed bumps along the way. I'm really glad to see that they're they're coming out on the right side of it, though. You know, like they're managing they they're releasing a game is a fucking miracle every time. So um, that they that they released it despite all of the problems that they've had. Um, like congratulations to them too. If if they're coming out soon, I know that the like you know mostly finished beta build has been through. Uh, the hands of people like Space Quest Historian and stuff like that. So it's close if it's not already out. I should check. It's I haven't been paying enough attention. Yeah. Yeah. I you know. Hey, I got a question for you all uh, out there, you you uh, PCs. W- would you guys like play a game we made, an adventure game? Does that even be something bet- you'd be interested in? They Man. might. They might. They might. You never know. Uh, also, fun for Algernon, Algernon wants to know uh, any thoughts on the uh, or sorry, yeah, do we enjoy Wes Anderson movies? Speaking of Owen Wilson, that's crazy because we talked about <laughs> Owen Wilson last. That's true. Uh, I do. We're just getting an Owen Wilson sandwich. Yeah, I do like Wes Anderson movies. I think my favorite is Rushmore. I, I think they're great. You know, I think I've watched several, but would struggle to list them. There's yeah, a- I'm I'm in the same boat as as Alex. Like I'm aware. I think like the Grand Budapest Hotel, yep, fantastic, and like Life Aquatic and stuff like that are his. Mm-hmm. But I haven't seen either of them. I did uh- <laughs> see Grand Budapest Hotel. That was going to be like I wasn't a hundred percent. That was Wes Anderson, but yeah, I, I liked yeah. it and I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Um- I watched I watched a uh, a piece on YouTube about what makes a Wes Anderson movie so unique. And it was very interesting. Like the very, um, 
perfectly framed like square on shots and stuff like that like breaking rules of cinematography and stuff like that really interesting but i don't i i struggle to think of a wes anderson movie that i've actually seen fantastic uh, mr fox he did nice he did do it. fantastic mr fox did. didn't he that yeah. that had one of the That's most good. uh expensive pieces of stop motion ever attempted yeah. the, the banquet nice. scene where the camera's moving through it was one of the most complicated feats of it was like probably literally one of the most complicated things ever animated yeah nice i should check that out like i'm a big animation nerd so uh that that shit is my bread and butter right there yeah i, I enjoy them but i'm 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 kind of also with you uh fun for Algernon, that i'm maybe not hip enough to get it but i still like them still fun. <laughs> still fun. i I would enjoy being a fly on the wall during the planning of that banquet scene from Fantastic Mr. Fox to see how many animators told him to eat shit before <laughs> they finally negotiated <laughs> the scene. Animators that could wanted to do it. Yeah. Um, one more question for Glory. What's with the online? And this is from Juffa Wup. I believe this is a new, uh, a brand new question. Like a, like a, like well, they're, they're very. I mean, all of them are brand new questions. This is yeah, a brand new viewer. A brand perhaps, new viewer. A brand new well, I don't interactor. know. Interactor. An interactor. <laughs> they're very. Their very first yes. question. They're quest- Thank you for watching the show. They're a question oh, virgin. Juffa Wup. Juffa Wup. Juffa Wup. Welcome to the show. Yeah. So uh, what's with the online and the Sierra online? I don't recall them having done anything particularly online in the telecommunications sense until the nineties. With the Sierra True. Network slash yeah. Imagination, or was online more of a generic computery buzz phrase at the time? So there is actually an answer typed in here by our pal Joseph Davies, but I want to know if you know, Luke. I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't. I mean, I know that like when they were originally starting to do, to like make Sierra Online, like Ken Williams was working in. Uh, tech. I think he might even either worked for or at least very much with IBM computers and stuff like that. Um, and that was like the really, really early days of like um, servers and what have you. So there might that might have had something to do with it. My, um, I know online systems was the original name of Sierra as well. Yeah, but um, I couldn't tell you what the reasoning behind it was. And yeah, like the the first like truly internet based stuff that I recall was TSN and INN, of course. Yes, but. Yeah. My guess would be it's just because that they made digital shit and probably had a website and back in the day that was as good enough reason to call yourself online as any. And or I mean this was pre websites, to be fair, but <laughs> and or they had aspirations of making multiplayer stuff. I mean well, attempts at doing multiplayer is as old as like MS DOS, like chess and sop with and stuff. So, you know you're, maybe you're, it was aspirational. You're sort of both right. Uh Ken was already operating a consulting business under the name uh, Online Systems because he dealt primarily with systems which were networked, like mainframes and terminals and stuff at businesses and universities. And he and Roberta released the original high-res adventures under the same company initially, and then they decided to expand their businesses, making it more software. They moved to Oakhurst, uh, took on some venture capital to get things moving. Um, in which he it, it's at that point he discovered there was already another business called online systems so they called it Sierra online um, there you go huh. and he kept that the portion because he wanted he intended the company to play a role in shaping products exactly like TSN and inN so yeah and by gum they did and they did so like uh maintain the continuity with the past work and the networking to so he could get his old jobs. It was, it was pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Oh, so, so sort of a portmanteau of both company names, except yeah. I guess um, the portmanteau wouldn't have a space. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But hey, yeah. so so thank you, Joseph, for for quoting uh, the Ken Williams book there and helping us all out. You're yeah. a real glorietician. Yeah, I think I have. I think you've officially passed, and you are now ranked among the master glorieticians. Yeah, you've you've, well, you've we- exited your journeyman phase. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and not only that, but you are you gave us our only question for crawl, which maybe we should save till the next episode. <laughs> well, we have been kind of just sitting on the inventory screen for a while because we have a dialogue coming up, but I didn't want to in- interrupt the. Uh, oh, it's been so long. Questions for glory we, because we have so much. Backed up, so. We have so much catching up to do. Yeah, let's let's do a little gameplay because I'm up at one or two of our of our PCs. 
will literally yell at their screen because we're not answering the crawl <laughs> question this episode. <laughs> yeah. No, no, just because like we just if someone really wants that question for crawl answered, and I just want to like I want to just enjoy their future rage at us leaving it for episode two. So let's do it. All right. We're not going to forget this time. No, no. Um. Yeah, get off the... Let's just keep playing. Let's do it. Oh, hello. Good day, Basic Man. A fine day for playing if one can fly. I seem to recall that uh, Wolfie was... Uh, had a barely sentient kind of vibe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, he's something else. He's something else. I am getting much better. I used to take a lump outside the city gates every morning. But things were getting so much more dangerous that I could not. Now that you have driven off the bad soldiers, I can run off all the rice I eat again. Roof, roof. Actually, I think he might have been a coot. Oh, was he a coot? I think he was a coot. Yeah, and he had an involuntary a uh, yuck. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. There was time after the last meeting of the Hall Kings, several arguments were heard. Dr. Mobius, the scientist, was most displeased about the right of destiny. <laughs> Hey, said to the person of court, I have to trash up even the odds the next time. The woman warrior Elsa was also hurt to show her displeasure to Manos. She didn't wish to take Elsa directly to the island of Delos, and Elsa wished to find her way there herself. So anyway, she said it not to take any orders, yet she was most angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, see, here's the thing. This is all very interesting, isn't it? Here's the thing. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have an Indian accent, and there's no fucking way I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm just not. Not in 2023. Sorry. And it sucks, because it's really good. <laughs> I'm really good at it. And I can't do it anymore. I mean, it doesn't suck. Like, well, it sucks personally you that you don't get to enjoy that, because... Because it's, it's not racist. Some, it's not something you would do to hurt anyone. <laughs> no, and it sucks. I don't want to hurt anybody's it, feelings. It sucks that in doing it, you would probably hurt someone. Yes, so. I don't want to do that. I don't want to yeah. hurt anybody's feelings. And it, it's, and I'm really... I'm really good at it. He's pretty good at it. The, uh, the yeah, uh, back at our old workplace, uh, we worked, Matt and I worked with an Indian fellow, and it was, there was... Because of the way that white people sort of unceremoniously uh, sort of dubbed all of the native peoples of the Americas as new and special types of Indians. Yes. <laughs> there's, there's lots of jokes between Matt and Earshot about it, which I, as a, you know, just a white guy, sort of got to bask in and feel vaguely uncomfortable about, which, you know, it was only pretty... lent further to the humor. It was good. It was good yeah, times. Yeah, the, the Indians versus Indians debate. Yeah. If we if we had roped earshot into this mess, then probably you could do your accent. Like we, yeah. we might be able to. We might just barely be able to get by with it. But no, but sadly, no, we're no. underrepresented in that re respect, so we probably shouldn't even go there. Yeah. Anyway, there's sorry for that, everybody. We just started playing, and I went off on a rant. Anyway, don't be racist. Yeah. Yeah. Try I've to be respectful to others. Exactly. I've seen a man fly once with wings or other magic. Is it something that I painted a picture to show that this was true and I didn't make up such a thing? For some reason, <laughs> yeah, I didn't see what I believed what I saw. <laughs> what a guy. So he painted the balloon picture. Holy cow, I didn't know the destiny was so hard to find. I always thought the future comes to you, whether or not you look for it. <laughs> Oh, incidentally, if any of our viewers are toothless cartoon gold prospectors, I'm sorry that the voice Matt is doing right now is offensive. I, uh, God, he's so good. Yeah, I'm sorry, by the way. Yeah, my bad. You know? It would be shocking to learn that one of our viewers was a toothless cartoon gold prospector, because that's if just, it's not the mental image that I have of them. If anyone is, any of them, gonna be address right 
No. <laughs> Interest is Australian. There's no toothless gold prospectors in Australia. <laughs> Never mind. I'm out. I don't know. I got none. If any of you are, write it write it in the comments below. And I'll apologize. <laughs> we'll do an apology episode. Is that it? We done? Good night. <laughs> That's how we shut down. That's the end of the show.